Good morning, everyone. Thanks for uh, joining me for this uh, coffee break. So this morning, we're going to discuss the Ecting 3, recently launched. Uh, so the industry reference, uh, we've sold more than 1,000 units uh, out there. Uh, so pretty excited. Uh, and the response is very good so far. Uh, so uh, we're going to look at this. Uh, but I, I want to focus today on the advantage of uh, uh, using an Ecting 3 is that we're able to, an, uh, to use the new RFA probe. Uh, so these are designed for the inspection of carbon steel heat exchangers. Uh, and they, they, it's an array technology allowing to have your C scan. Uh, the big, um, uh, let's say there are a few advantages of this new technology. But what I want to point you to uh, show you this morning exactly is that uh, what you see the picture on the screen is the ability to see defect closer to support plates. So in this bundle that I have behind me, uh, we've machined uh, this defect right next to the support plate. Uh, this is type of indication that are extremely difficult well, uh, to, to identify in conventional uh, RFT and are even uh, blinded. So this is part of the blind region where RFT is limited. Uh, so we're gonna look at this uh, first. And what I wanna show you is the signal response from uh, that conventional uh, RFT probe that, that I have set it up. So if we switch now to my screen, uh, I have a magnify opened up, everything is ready. And I will start the acquisition for a conventional uh, RFT probe. So here we go. Like this, I have my signal that's coming up. go I can stop the acquisition place my conventional probe right there uh, and we see here uh, clearly on my screen uh, this this is uh, the typicals we have absolute uh, differential I would I like to work with the voltage plane uh, and if we look at our support plates they're very very consistent in the uh, the representation uh, so this is the where the defect is uh, located and currently, uh, there are very few, uh, no information that I have that there is a big indication uh, that's such of a big indication right next to it. Uh, and then uh, maybe sometimes there are a signal difference in the support plate, uh, but this could easily be interpreted as a, a thinner uh, support plate. So now if I switch to my Magnify uh, 5.1 with the RFA Pro, uh, so this is our design. So the big difference here in the probe, so we got the dual driver uh, uh, configuration. Uh, and in the middle, we added two rows of array coils to give us that C-scan uh, array. So of course, with a C-scan, we're able to see the defect morphology of, uh, of the indications, uh, lead us to a better selection of the sizing curve. We've got new centering devices uh, that offer a higher probability of detection uh of smaller pittings and also uh we have kept uh the same fill factor uh and cleaning requirements as well as pulling speed as a conventional rft so, so there are no difference in the operations when you use uh, rfa versus uh, rft so i'm gonna push it down the tube so we can get a few a little bit of signal and i'm will acquire the data right here so as you see, I'm doing the same speed. Go, oh, so I can stop it. And now I have my um, uh, my signal response uh, in my C scan that you see. So that's a, a good interpretation. Um, and the, uh, uh, the 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 C scan. So the the RFA is allows me to see my conventional signal. Uh, so if I put my cursor here, I do have the same representation, but now I've, I've added information with the C-scans. Uh, and if we look closer to uh, the first support plate, where are my indications? Uh, so this is our big indication right next to the support plate. Uh, we have one in the free span that is right here. Uh, so a small one, but very clear on the C-scan. Uh, so that's a very confidence in the uh, interpretation. And now here, uh, right next to our support plate, uh, we are able to uh, very easily identify this indication, even though we do have a full uh, support signal uh, for with the um, uh, array uh, um, signal, 
we're able to see this indication uh, that is uh, peaks out uh, very loud and clear. That's a big advantage here uh, for our RFA. Uh, so uh, what I want to show, uh, so everything, this, uh, this is all enabled uh, through our new Ectane. Uh, so that's the Ectane 3 we, uh, we just launched. Uh, so uh, uh, good old, uh, the, our good design, uh, robust, made for the field. So the, the new improved uh, uh, electronic boards uh, throughout all the technologies, we've revamped the electronic boards uh, and especially the one for RFA. Uh, so we have now what we call low frequency multiplexing uh, that allows us to use RFA at the same pulling speed as RFT. Uh, and it's now also uh, IP65 for the harshest field conditions. Uh, so, uh, without, uh, so that's it uh, for it for this morning. Uh, let us know if you have, um, uh, you're interested. Everything is available on our website now. All the information is there, uh, and we're more than happy uh, to um, uh, to answer your questions and get in touch uh, with some a remote demonstration to to show you the full potential, full capabilities of our um, uh, RFA. Pro uh, technology and also the latest in innovations with the um, Actane 3. So we have a question. Uh, so can I use the RFA with the Actane 2? Uh, no, it is not possible uh, for us uh, to, uh, as I mentioned, the, the RFA uh, uh, is, is made available, uh, what we've worked on, the technology, so the higher resolution remote field array uh, 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 is enabled uh, by what we call a low frequency multiplexer. And this meant we had to rework the interelectronic boards inside our instrument. Uh, so this is why uh, it needs, and we also need to connect to the latest Magnify version, Magnify 5.1, uh, that has all the wizard and the tools for you to set up easily this probe. What's the targeted field factor for the RFA? So the targeted is around 75-78% uh, uh, to be precise, uh, which is exactly the same one as conventional RFT. Uh, so the the if for this particular case, uh, we have a one inch one inch OD uh, tube, so uh, 25 millimeter tube uh, with a um, uh, 2.11 millimeter wall thickness. Uh, we use a 18 millimeters uh, probe for the RFA and uh, the uh, conventional RFT as well. Can we upgrade the Actane 2 to be suitable for the RFA? Uh, unfortunately, no, uh, because we had to, as I mentioned, uh, on the outside, it seems to be uh, very similar, but basically all the inside components have been reworked, have been upgraded. Uh, all the, uh, the connectors have been changed. So there are a lot of big changes in our instrument. It's really up to date with the latest electronics. Uh, so to use the RFA, you will need to move to uh, Actane 3. What is IP65 certification? So IP65 certification is a, a standard that, that's used across many industries for the, uh, the requirements against uh, uh, dust resistance and water resistance. What that means for your operation is that you can do you can bring this unit out in the field if it's raining uh, and it's in in, uh, in uh, wet conditions. If you're doing iris and your 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 water is dripping on the uh, the ectane, it's gonna be good. Uh, all this required is that we we have two um, uh, connectors that need to be uh, in the uh, on the ectane. Uh, so meaning that there is a let's say for a um, array uh, version model. So you need the cap on the array. And then, uh, of course, you need the cable that is protecting the octane. Uh, but these are the two. The rest can leave, can stay open, and the unit is uh, water resistant, watertight, uh, so you can uh, uh, run it um, no problem, no matter the condition out in the field. What is your fabrication and delivery time uh, for an one octane three and RFA probes? Uh, so we're in the. Uh, currently, this is the same that we've been having for the 18.2. So we're looking around uh, at three months uh, delivery time on both items, uh, a little bit shorter on the RFA probes. Uh, uh, we've we've had, um, uh, of course, as you know, uh, electronic uh, components are difficult to uh, uh, to purchase, uh, but we're trying our best to bring that that time as as lower as possible. 
but at the moment we're looking at three months uh, to get each so you need to uh, it's important that you, you you plan ahead for your inspections uh to make sure you're in touch and we're able to uh to provide you with this system where can i get pricing for the ecting 3 and rfa pro this is very easy uh you go on the website can't remember it's exactly the wording but if you go on the very top of the page uh there's going to be the uh, shop online uh icon you go in there uh and there's it's full of resources uh we've put the pricing of all our instruments all our model uh we've got builders if you start and we have even pre-built quote if you say hey i want to just try the rfa there's a pre-built quote that lets you know what what software you need uh, uh what what probe size you need so the uh etc so uh, the, the the real big uh, uh where you get all the information is what we call the e-com so or online store and once you you know your model you've seen everything you just uh, request the official code we'll get in contact with our sales team and then we can uh, refine your your quotation make sure you've you've put everything you you needed in there uh and then we can it can be reviewed by our technical team as well uh, and then you will be able to uh, to purchase this system. MFL array is listed as an available technology for the Ecting 3. I've heard of MFL array for tank floor inspection. Is there MFL array probe for tubing applications? Uh, no, this is uh, what is listed in the um, uh, in the spec sheet. The, the available for the Ecting 3 is an MFL array surface probe uh for piping uh, uh inspection all right thanks everyone for uh, for joining uh let us know if you have ad additional questions uh looking forward to hearing your feedback uh thank you very much have a good day